guys, so basically, I'm not even going to do an intro for you guys because you know how it goes. I'm just sharing it today because it's an event that kind of like affected me and kind of like traumatized me, but uh, yeah, the tea is hot. Anyway, so this happened two and a half, three months ago. I had just gotten home from work. It was a Friday night, 12.30 at night. I was doing my homework because I just wanted to knock it out for the weekend. I was sitting in my room. I was sitting at my desk and you have to imagine where I'm sitting at. So basically I'm sitting at my desk and there is a window on the side of me and also in front of me. So my desk is in a corner and my windows are like adjacent to each other, just like that. So I'm minding my own business. I'm blasting some logic on my speaker. And all of a sudden I hear this thump and it wasn't like a loud thump or anything It was just a thump and I thought it was like a bug or maybe a rock I just didn't care and like I just forgot about it So like five minutes goes by and I'm just on my phone and I'm scrolling through Shane Dawson's Instagram Coincidence, uh, and then I hear another thump, but it wasn't like any other thump It was like a knock. It was like one two three and I immediately got up I turned off the lamp and I didn't know this until now now that my lamp is so bright you can literally see it from a distance or from the street and instantly people know that like I'm in my house it's it's literally that bright so I get up turn off the lamp I grab my phone my camera sitting right there and so I immediately turn on the camera and start recording and this is what I got Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then after that, I bolt to my brother's room. I tell him exactly what's going on, what I just saw, show him some of the footage. Maddie, do not put this in the vlog. Oh my gosh. Nichols, Nichols, come with me. Nichols, Nichols, Nichols. Oh my gosh, someone's knocking at my door. Get up. Good morning. No, get up. Oh my gosh. What is it? someone and we both just congregate into here my parents are asleep i didn't want to wake them up because it was something very very little and it just happened so i just wanted to you know figure it out by myself and like not make it a big thing someone is literally like knocking at my window and like i'm terrified right now okay go over there and look like i'm being 100 percent legit like just go, go over there and check it's dark outside can you see anything no i don't see nothing like just keep low though Stay low and stuff. And literally, I'm shaking. I'm scared because I've never been in any kind of situation like this because I don't know who's outside, like what kind of creep, who it is, or who's standing there. Or what the actual freak, you guys? There's someone literally like banging. That's weird. And then 15 minutes goes by and my brother's like, all right, it's silent now. We need to go investigate and see. So we walk out to our kitchen. Basically, my kitchen has these windows and you can see like the backyard, the whole view. And we look out, you can't see anything. It's literally pitch black. The only way you could see something is actually turning on the light or walking out, which will like set off a motion light or something. Alright, let's check the front yard real quick. I'm not even joking, guys. I'm so scared right now. Okay. okay. Anybody? I should light on this side, but I don't see a person. So I don't see anybody either. Good. I think we should go check the backyard. Like, go outside. Nicholas, I'm shaking right now. It's not even funny. Come on, we got this. We're not police officers. Wow, we can just. <laughs> let's just go see what's up. Chill, chill. 
So we walk, and my brother's about to go in the backyard. I tell him, bro, don't go out there. Like, don't be a maniac. But knowing him, he does. And he walks out, and he literally yells, yo, who goes there? Like, bro, nobody's going to tell you. So I'm telling him, bro, get back in here. Like, you're going to get stabbed. Like, I don't want to get killed. So we come back in. Who's out there? Nichols, what are you? Oh my God, you're, you're gonna get me killed. Do you think we need to call the like cops or anything? This is so sketchy, bro. What the? Today, y'all, this is like 100% legit. Like I'm not even joking. I'm freaking out right now. Lock the door. Lock the door. Lock the door. We're both scared out of our minds. We both locked the door. We closed the blinds. And then that was that. We keep peeping out of all the windows that show the backyard. We are looking in the front yard too. And I'm like, we have to like tell our mom and dad because like what's going on? Because they, they're the adults. They, they would know what to do. So my mom is asleep. So I wake her up. I tell her and she was like, oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, yeah, like right now I don't feel safe at all. And uh, I'm probably not going to go to sleep. And then something may happen. You just never know. So like, why not? Let's just, just call the cops. So my dad ends up waking up my mom ends up waking up the whole fam's up and so we ended up calling the police we're gonna dim the light just for safety reasons okay there we go that's good yo what do you think we should do this is so scary oh my god and they search our house and they searched the backyard and at that time I felt like an idiot because like they didn't find anything and I thought they were gonna say oh there's just a ghost or something like that. They just didn't find anything and they ended up just writing a report. I only got like footage of the policeman talking to us but I can't put an audio due to legal reasons right now so um So then we go to check our cameras, which we have only in our driveway and the front yard, um, which is kind of dumb on our part. We should have one in our backyard, but um, nothing, there was no movement or anything. So that was kind of a bust. Whoever the person is was really smart to walk like really far so that the camera couldn't capture him at all. So um, it for sure it was a person. There's no way like a bird or a rock could do some kind of knock. Think what you want, but like, I'm being 100% right now, like, that knock was crazy and I knew it was a person. And my gut, like, I had that gut feeling that there was, like, a creep or some kind of stranger outside of my window. And it was just so scary because, like, I'm literally sitting next to my window, a teenager, picture a teenage girl, not knowing who's, like, out there. So, that kind of, like, traumatized me. So that night, me and my brother just ended up going to sleep. I went to sleep around 3 a.m. I was still scared out of my mind. And, um, yeah, that's basically, it ended there, and it was really, really weird. We asked our neighbors if they saw or heard or got any of the same noises, and they're like, nah. And so, um, it was just really weird night, and it was something I just wanted to share with you guys, because content, baby! Anyways, yeah, um, yeah, that was, that was really weird. It was just crazy, like, I was shaking I was scared, I was on the verge of crying, but I didn't want to be like a baby or anything and like cry, cause what does crying do? To this day, I still want to know who it is and figure it out, but like that's, 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 that's for another day. But yeah, that is something I just wanted to share with you guys, and it was just, it was just a weird night.